Hello all, and welcome to La Coronella. I've been wanting to check out this map. It's 2.0, and it looks pretty darn interesting, pretty cool. It is definitely a little different than, uh, definitely different than Stone Valley. I've went around just a little bit, just to kind of try to familiarize myself with it, just a wee bit. Now, we do own across the street. There is a straw barn there, and the big wooden building way down there that holds potatoes and sugar beets. Now we've got this silo here, which to be honest, I am not sure what it holds. Most of the silos have a little sign with them. This looks like it holds lime. But that being said, if you look across the street, way over here, that one, or this one, shows a little, a little white powder. So I am going to assume that is lime. Any other white powder I don't believe would be stored in a silo quite that large, if you get my gist. So, I, I don't know. We're, we will have to figure this out. This is uh, definitely, this yard is a little bit uh, tight and a little bit, uh, a little bit fuller than the one we've got over in Stone Valley. It's a very nice looking orange tractor. This area, I really, I don't know. I don't know how much use I'm going to get out of this. It's kind of tight. Maybe if I use the bobcat, then maybe, maybe I'll be able to use it. And what do we got over here, anyway? Oh, look at that. We've, uh, looks like somebody did a little repair, but they just put some brick. Or maybe there's a brick building on the other side. Is there? Let's go see. Uh, oh, there's a brick wall, so that must be what it is. That's pretty cool. I mean, I suppose they just went around the wall. Yeah, that works. That works. This is, uh, I think this guy right here holds her fuel. So that's good. We've got several little barns and stuff. But, I mean, they're not really big enough to hold a whole bunch. I suppose you could stock, uh, stick a cedar or something in there. So we have plenty of silos. Now the weird thing about this place is uh, there's our equipment. Is the silos like each one holds different stuff. This one holds uh, looks like fertilizer. So we've got a fertilizer silo right here. Now you do have to come over and you open them just like so. Now since that is white, I guess one of those over there could be fertilizer as well. So you open those and then you have to activate the silo right here. Now we can't, I don't think, well we can, I don't think there's any in it, but that's all right. And they like to spread the equipment out. I think they're trying to give the illusion that they have more equipment. They give you more than they actually did. Cause you got like one thing here and then a couple things over there. They want to try to use the whole farm. Nice big old silage pit. I said I have not been too much around this. I did one quick run around just to kind of try to get my bearings. We could play some hoops. Let's give it a shot. I don't know. Oh, I am a. I'm not very tall, and I am not a very good basketball player. Let's go right there. <laughs> that is the first time that I've thrown that basketball. I promise. I would not lie. I promise. Woohoo! I won't do that anymore because now I've a. Uh, I'm a winner. I did it. <laughs> first try. So this guy here holds her seed. I do know that. And again, you have to raise the lid here and drop some seed in, and then you turn it on over on this side. So it is, uh, it's pretty cool. I don't know, what does this guy hold? Uh, I have no idea what that is. Maybe, maybe grass, maybe, I don't know. We will, uh, we will figure that out. So this is like a maze. Hey, we got a mixer over here. With a lot of zeros. Now I cannot imagine that this mixer needs that many zeros. I mean, it's not quite that big. And this is our only field. That's the only field we own is field 19. And then we own the farm here. That's it. 
Now I don't know. Let's wait, let's get out of there. What do we got? It's been cultivated. Of course it needs lime. Of course it does. And I don't think we own a plow. So that was the quick tour of La Coronella. Oh, there! Look at that. There's another uh, hay barn. Very nice. We got two of those bad boys. That just means I think we're gonna need to do grass. Is this? Hey. We have ourselves a little stream. Take a dip to cool off. And the road goes right through it. Maybe we will be able to try one of those bridges. I've never actually had the opportunity or the need to use one. Oh, hey. So this pipe. Oh, I'm. I got to figure this out because we have a pipe that runs to that. From where? So it runs from this guy. Huh. Very interesting. We will figure this out as we get going, I think. That's that's kind of my plan. I, we will learn it together. Well, you may already know. So what do we need to do first? Evidently, we need to find ourselves a plow. Do we own a plow? I, I don't think so. This is the equipment. We've got a tractor that got what? Uh, how much horsepower does it have? It doesn't even say. I think it's a, oh, 180. A very small harvester. 5,600 liters is all it holds. Ugh. Okay, 8,000 liter trailer. It's very, oh my goodness. Four meters. Four meters is that. I guess it's bigger than our cedar. And that's, uh, that's it. That's all we got. Well, we need a plow because that is that is not gonna that's not gonna go. So let up oh, here's a plow, and of course I have my favorite plow, which is this little guy right here. Now, does that work as a plow? Or well, that's six meters. Well, yeah, I think this is what we're gonna get if we've got to plow it up. That field's not that big, six meter. Our planter's only three. We will just leave it as co that color and let's lease it. I think I turned. Okay, let's go back. I want to check. I think I turned plowing off. So if that's the case, this is the only field that we will need. Uh, I turned it on a time scale, real time, difficulty. I just went easy because the fields are super expensive on this map. Traffic's on, normal for dirt, engine start off, uh, changes to default fuel, helper buy off for everything. I turn plant withering off, crop destruction off, periodic plowing off. Yay! But I left lime and I turn weeds off. And I save when I decide I want to save. There we go. That's pretty good. Let's, uh, let's grab our tractor. And where? There it is. All right. Hey, we have a sunroof. Nah, that's uh, that's pretty spiffy. And a big old monitor there. Now let's see. Can we get our butt uh, out of here? There's the road. There we go. We are gonna cruise down to the store. It is just down the road a bit. Here, let's uh, pull up the map. So you can see us, and the shop is just right down the road, not far at all. I think we will get this plowed, which means we will then also need to lime it. And then this field should be good for the rest of the gameplay, I'd say. All right, I'll see you at the store. And we made it safe and sound, and evidently uh, Kloss is very big around here. Which is okay. I am not going to go with a specific brand or any of that. Whatever works, whatever's going to do the job, that is what I am going to use. Let's fold that guy up. I am not brand loyal. I am brand whatever is going to get the job done. Now on some of these roads, it is definitely easier to be in the cab lots and lots of trees this map is gorgeous whoever did this map I, I could look it up I should know this but I don't 
they did an incredible job. I think this map is extremely well done. Details, details, details. All right, let's get back to the field. Let's get our plowing hat on. All righty. Let's see here. Let's drop it down. Lower it. And that's it. We are ready to go. Now, this is probably going to take a few minutes. And I'm trying to figure out what is going to be. Let's back up just a wee bit here. What is going to be the best way to make money on this map? Now, most maps, when you start off, grass. Grass is king. If you want to make cash quick, you start with the grass. You make silage bales. You sell your hay, sell whatever. Grass grows quick. It's uh, fairly cheap to inexpensive to harvest. You don't have to replant it, and you can make some quite good money fairly quickly. The downside is, is we do not own a grass field, which is kind of a bummer, but I think we have one right below us, and I don't know how much it cost, but we will have to check into that. We do not have very much money, for sure. So, that is something that we need to ponder and we need to figure out. What is, what is our game plan going to be? Right now, the first mission is to get field 1, which or whatever field number this is, field 19, into shape, ready to go, and get crops in the ground so that we can at least start making some money. And I think there's uh, two new crops on this map. They are lentils, and I am pondering, what is that, uh, chickpeas. And I think chickpeas sell for a really quite a good price. Let's see here. Uh, da, 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 where are they? They're down here? No, that's, I gotta figure out what that red stuff is. I have a way I can do that, but... Let's see, where are, there's the chickpeas with the uh, little red fruit at the bottom, right dead center. And they're selling for $3,000 per thousand liters. Wow, that is stellar. Now the lentils are selling for quite a price as well, but that seems to be higher than soybeans, isn't it? So, yeah, so, well, yeah, soybeans are selling for just a little bit under three. But I don't know if you saw, you can sell uh, cheese. It looks like water, flour. And the black, I had to do a little bit of looking, but that is compost. That black in the center there, I couldn't figure out what it was. So, that's a, that's... I don't know how to make compost. I have no idea. I think we will have to figure that out. There's going to be a lot of that on this map, which I think is going to be a lot of fun. It's not just the standard crop. With uh, Stone Valley, it was the Maze Plus extension is what gave us all the different stuff. You cannot use the Maze Plus extension on this map, at least as far as I figured out. I tried to load it. And it sit there and just spun and never did load for probably 15 20 minutes and I'm like well evidently maze plus does not work here and it could be because they've got their own new stuff on here and it's not uh, maze plus compatible which is all right I'm, I'm good with that with all of that yakking going on I think what I'm gonna do is put my nose to the grindstone and at least get the headlands done and then maybe we can put a worker on this and we can figure out what our next move is are we going to buy a field and if so which field are we going to get now this tractor is a little bit underpowered for this plow but if you didn't know you can actually come to this plow and turn it around backwards I know it seems a little ridiculousness, but you can turn it around backwards and it still plows, but yet it uses less horsepower and it goes much quicker. Now I was only going four miles an hour back there and now I can rock it at 10. 
it's kind of this plow's way to do some fast farming a little FYI a little hopefully uh, maybe somebody didn't know and if you didn't now you do that's one of the things I like about this plow is if you do not have all the horsepower just turn the thing around backwards and it works just as well and actually better it goes quicker and you can use it on the front or the back of this tractor alrighty we have a worker rocking on this guy should be uh oh we got a little squirrely piece up here that I think we will have to go through and fix what are you doing keep going man come on nope and they stopped just like that this is why I have trust issues <laughs> that's what it is we'll blame the worker not me for didn't do an improper headlands it's the workers fault for just not knowing better so it looks like I need to run just a couple more stripes across this end there it is okay just I think just two we'll do one this way one back the other way that should square it off pretty darn nice all right this this tractor does not have the best turning radius that I've uh, seen of course I could be comparing it to the sin track now one of the things I did want to let you know on this map I am going to avoid any super cheaty nothings I, I may have a tractor that goes a little faster than it's supposed to something like that but I'm not gonna use my favorite loading wagon uh, I'm not going to use super, super cheaty combines and harvesters that, you know, hold 100,000 liters. And I am, uh, I'm not going to use the word realistic because I, for one, I'm not a farmer. I don't even know what realistic is. You can try, but then a farmer's going to watch and say, well, then no, that's not how it's done. So I'm not doing realistic for sure. I am I am just playing the game a little bit different than I did Stone Valley and I didn't go too crazy with Stone Valley or well maybe I did I don't know but we will be going back I will my next video will be of Stone Valley as well until we get to that to what I call completed or beaten till we win we will be back let's turn that on helper and see how they turn around I think we're gonna be fine come on baby do your job. Oh yeah, we are fine. So with that, what do we need to do? We are going to need another field. We are going to need, we are gonna need some equipment. And now the field I am thinking about is field 29. Now it cost two hundred and fifty one thousand dollars so if we're gonna get that we don't even have a hundred thousand dollars I would like to borrow all of the money for field 29 so we would basically have a mortgage on field 29 it's all grass it, uh, I don't know if it's ready or not let's see here okay and no it is not but surprisingly it does have two fertilization states on it which is very surprising and we also get this little area of trees right here we may end up coming in and doing a little something something with that there's a couple big old forest areas what are they selling for not bad look at that a hundred we can make some quick cash with this now I have to admit when I f do forestry, I I don't I don't do it. I would say maybe correctly. I guess I don't do wood chips because wood chips don't give you any money. But we'll get into that later on. We I digress. I uh, sorry squirrel chasing a nut here. So I think we're gonna have to go in here and let's borrow some money. So we need at least two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. And what I would like to do is borrow all of it I don't want to borrow a part of it let's borrow the 250 oh, it looks like we're gonna borrow 255 okay 
So now we go here, we go here, and we now own a grass field. We've already expanded the farm. Perfect. And all we got to do is wait. So I don't even need a mower yet because it's not ready. But we will need a lime spreader. And I am also thinking we need a second tractor. Even if we just rent one, we are going to need a second tractor. So let's go over here and let's see about finding ourselves a second tractor. I don't think we need a big tractor. I don't think we need large yet. Let's just go medium. And what are we looking for? Woof. They're all expensive. You know, the JCB looks pretty good. What do we got all the way down here? Anything cheap? Well, there's the JCB. Oh, that's 168. That does not have... Oh, let's see. Let's see. No, that's not cheap. I do like that. The JCB there goes at a decent speed. It does have 235 horses. Now, the Vultra, how about, it does 31, it's got 210, we can probably up it, so that's 10 grand. Now, I don't know if uh, this tractor is used in this area or not, I am not that knowledgeable, but I think it will. Now, what color? What color do we want? Let's see. We could go orange to match our other tractor, but I don't think we want that, do we? You know, I kind of like that. And surprisingly, I'll do onyx. Look at that. That looks pretty good, don't you think? I mean, I think it looks just dandy. We can also check the wheels. No, oh, I don't need any... Uh, Oh, I don't like those. I mean, I do, but they, they do look kind of cool. Ooh, the trailer board look beefy. Look at those. Those are kind of chunky. Look at the treads on those things. I think trailer board it is. Let's just do that. They don't cost any extra. I think that's what came with it to begin with. So let's, uh, let's lease it. Done. Okay, what else do we need? We need a lime spreader. We need something to spread some lime. And these guys work. I don't think anything... Oh, wait. That, oh, that guy does. Well, that's only 13 grand. Oh, yeah. That is the same one that we used at Stone Valley. But it works. These don't spread lime. That guy, do oh, but it's 1,000 liters. I am not doing that. <laughs> no, 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 no. So it looks like we're going to go with this one right here. And we will definitely lease it because there's no need to buy that. At least not as of right now. And I think, isn't that everything we need? I do believe, because if we look at our uh, planter here, cedar... It only does three meters, and I am not, I'm not doing that, not three meters. Three meters on that field would be ridiculously long. It would take forever to do that. So we will be getting rid of that. So let's go grab our trailer, then we'll zip back to the farm. Oh, darn it, I forgot. We need, we need line. That's what we need. I'll get my head on straight. Well, maybe I'll get my head on straight. How much lime do you think we're going to need? I'm going to do... They do 2,000 liters. It goes pretty quick, though. Let's, uh, let's do two. Okay, so we got two lime. And let's go, let's go get this to the farm. And then we'll come back and we'll swap out uh, cedars. I have to say, this map is pretty much the opposite of Stone Valley. Stone Valley is a lot of big straight square or rectangle fields. This is, nothing is straight. The roads aren't straight, the fields aren't straight, the 
farmyard is not straight. Nothing is straight, which is just fine. I, I kind of like it. I almost wish, you know, you had more of a sports car versus a tractor in here. Let's see. Let's turn this guy this way. See if we can get this cedar in that little bitty garage door here. There. Now, what do you mean it's not? It is on the darn... Uh, okay. Maybe we back up a wee bit more. Oh, wait. Would it be... This over here? So they put the trigger... Huh. Away from the little light. Let's try that. Well, that might be easier than I would say. I, ah, let me find. There it is. Oh, well, there we go. Let's repair. Yeah, nothing to repair. So we're going to get 26 grand out of this. Okay. There we go. Now, what do we need? We need a cedar. Normally, I like the horse pronto. But, what does that require? That requires 270 HP. We do not have that much horsepower. Uh, this guy's, this guy's alright. It doesn't fertilize, but that's okay. And I don't want to go any, any more than that. I don't think we need a 12 meter. That's too much money. Let me start getting into itty bitty stuff. I'm thinking the Rapid A 600S is the way to go. Now, I do not believe that you can fast farm with this. I don't think that is a possibility, but we, we'll check it out. We'll double check for sure. Let's just lease it for now. Yes, indeed. And we also need to spend a little bit more money on seed. So we're at 1000 for 900 now, the problem with this, well, that's the same anyway, so it doesn't matter, is usually with the bags, you can't pull up next to it and fill up. I have been able to do it a couple of times, but I've also been stuck where I have to pick it up and hold it above the trailer just to get it to load. So let's, let's do two of these. Okay, that's good, right? We got two, we got two. Let's hop in our tractor and get everything hooked up. There we are. We are hooked up, loaded up, ready to go. Gonna hit. Whoa! Don't you, don't you worry. I'll stop. Good brakes. Got good brakes here. So let's just head back to the field and see if maybe our helper uh, is done. Well, it most certainly looks like he's done. He's just sitting out there either done or they are taking a coffee break one or the other so let's run over here and see everything looks good we'll have to pull up the map just to make sure that everything that is supposed to be like this that isn't will be fixed and we have a couple little spots at the bottom couple little spots at the top so let's go ahead we're gonna hop in here and see about getting this all cleaned up there we go that wasn't too bad let's uh, double check here zoom on in we look good all right and the field looks good too that was a funny that was a little joke you know get it got it <laughs> oh yeah i'm full of horrible horrible jokes there is no question no doubt about that <laughs> so let's run over here let's drop this one off we'll just pull it right here that looks like a good spot come on there baby grab our lime spreader now what in the world that thing just does it not have a jack on that or what it just drops the tongue right into the ground whoa hey simmer down okay now let's just see i just 
Well, there it sits, okay. Well, it is not for me to question why. Let's uh, get out of here. I don't think we have to lower or unfold. I think we just kick it on. Back up so I can see what we're getting here. There we go. Now this should make short work out of this field. There's just not going to be much to it. But then once we get this done, we can put some crops in the ground. At least start working towards making some cash. Because as you know, when you start a farm, you need more money than you think you need. You always think, oh, I got plenty. No, you never, ever have enough. Not in farm sim. So I think we will just zip around here. A little bit more zipping and let's just get this guy done. There we go, and yes, I did see a couple of spots I missed down here. My spreader wasn't quite going as wide as I thought it was. Shouldn't be any problem at all. We'll fix this right up. There we go. Yes, indeed. Pretty, pretty sloppy farming. There we go. Now this map has, I think this map is going to be uh, quite enjoyable. It's very nice to look at. It's a, it's well done. It is just well done. The layout, everything so far seems to be extremely well done. Of course, when we get into it, trying to figure out all these silos and all of that good stuff. That's another story. All right, let's. Hop in here and see about getting this done now. Now, I am not very smart because I did not even think about what we were putting in the ground. Why, I do not know, but let's go take a look. Because I was thinking, I was thinking about... Whatever that is. Oh my, chickpeas. That's what I was thinking. Doing chickpeas. I think I'd mentioned that before. And so I think that's what we need to do. So I need to rerun. At least all I did was got into one headland. Not too bad. So I'll just go ahead and start it back up. And uh, we'll run uh, headland one more time. And that should uh, that shouldn't be too bad. That was not too bad. No harm, no foul there. We did all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and just redid what I already did, and uh, then we will uh, get her finished up. All righty, last little bit we've got here left to go. And that definitely took just a little bit of time to do. I could not imagine if we would have did that with the three meter plow or planter, we would have been here for like half hour, 45 minutes. There we go, shut her down, fold her up. So I think we can go over here. Look at that, first field is done, sweet. Very nice. 
So, I think, as I was starting to say, that we can go drop our seed over here, but I don't think it will unload into it. Let's go over here and drop this. Let's open that up. Let's find out. Well, yeah, I guess it allowed us to unload, but not <laughs> into the silo. So, okay, yeah, that's kind of what I thought we would have to do. But with that, we don't need the cedar anymore. So let's go least items, and there it is. You did us well. Thank you very much. But we're going to return it. And we can go ahead and return the subsoiler. Yes. Now, the lime spreader, I don't want to return it yet. Because it still has lime in there. So let's look at this. I like this shed right here. This one's nice. Big, open, a little bit of room to move around. That's pretty sweet. So let's pull that there. And tab on over. So let's go find out which silo takes lime. Now, I don't know if this one unloads in here either. I got rid of my map. And I, it's not going to do it. So we're not going to be able to find out yet. I think we're going to have to unload it into our pallets there. Oh, this right. This one does not unload. What? That's ridiculousness. So there's no way to get this lime out of here, is there? Nope. Wait, I know where we can put it. We'll put it right over here. Okay, straighten her out. There it is. Perfect-ish. <laughs> Perfect-ish, yes. That's what it is. Perfect-ish. There we go. Sweet. So what do we need to do now? Let's go park this guy somewhere. I need to consolidate some of my equipment. They've got it scattered all over the place for whatever reason. I really don't know about any one shed would hold about everything that we've got. I think for right now, I think for the first episode, we are done. It always seems like I didn't get enough done and I didn't do very much when it's the first episode. But we're just trying to figure it out, get the lay of the land. Well, with all of that, hey, I hope you enjoyed. Maybe you've picked something up. Maybe you learned something. Not sure. You probably know more than I do. That's usually the way it goes, for sure. But thanks again for watching. If you'd like to leave a like, leave a thumbs down, thumbs up. Either way, all input is good input, as always. Be good, everyone. And until next time, see ya.